Warning, basic maths. Hello, my name is Astro Gamer Steve, and this is my design for a customizable one wide and tiler wall pulse shortener, which can shorten the pulse by minus two to minus infinity ticks, depending on how you customize it. This one does minus three to minus six ticks uh, when you're using a stone button, because as you'll see here, stone buttons output a pulse length of 10 ticks, whereas wooden buttons output a pulse length of 1.5 ticks. Uh, sorry, 15 ticks, which is equal to 1 second and 1.5 second. So once they get put through uh, the pulse shortener, they get shortened to 7 to 4 ticks or 12 to 9 ticks in length, respectively. So uh, this is basically how it works. It goes through there, and the signal goes through here at first, and this first layer it carries the signal for the outputs like these ones. This is what the design looks like without any outputs on it, so as you can see it is indeed one wide. So the signal for the outputs goes down on that layer and then a signal comes up here through this torch which inverts when you press the button so that um, the, the repeaters turn off and then the pistons retract which brings this block up into uh, the place in front of a repeater or in front of a redstone which means that the signal can pass through but that only activates uh, a short amount of time after the signal for the output goes through depending on how you customize this repeater right here although it's not all dependent on that single repeater because as you'll see over here what I've called the uh, mid-sequence flexible delay is that you can uh, choose what kind of output length you want on individual outputs and it's not all about the first repeater so here it will output a signal length of 10 ticks because this is just the button and this hasn't been shortened yet but this first output will be 4 ticks second one will be 4 ticks then it goes down to 3 ticks and then it goes back up to 4 ticks so how exactly does it do that? Well after you've got the pulse shortener bit here, which is the redstone, and then a repeater which delays the uh, the possibility for the signal to go out of the outputs, uh, you'll have this repeater here, which is just as normal, but these ones both have two ticks of delay on them, because they're a repeater in that state, and then it's got redstone here, which takes zero redstone ticks, it's a uh, game tick. It's one game tick for it to go through there because as you'll see here two game ticks equals one redstone tick which is 0.1 seconds long so it's useful to understand those little bits of data before you try to customize this yourself so this extends the delay of the signal going through and this one quickens it again so it goes down to three and then back up to four so I'll just press the button and demonstrate this for you you'll see those last two pistons go up and down at exactly the same time and remember that this delay is not um, introducing delay in between the outputs uh, actually outputting the signal it's delaying the signal length so this is three ticks of output this is four ticks of output this doesn't mean that there's four ticks in between these two because there's actually no time at all in between them it's a it's a very fast system and uh, particularly when you're using this one over here because this is my extended pulse shortener and also extended the number of outputs because this and this bit are both infinitely tireable so my system here intrinsically adds two ticks of delay just because of the way it's built uh, one tick one redstone tick for the torch to update through this block and then one redstone tick for this piston to retract and allow the first signal to go through and start the chain reaction and it can also introduce more ticks uh, by means of these repeaters but that's customizable to your liking so time for a little bit of basic maths I'm sorry about this but uh, one tick there and then one tick one tick one tick that's the minimum delay it can introduce so that's four ticks of delay with this uh, extended one it's obviously three ticks minimum over there four ticks of delay is the minimum but if you extend these to maximum then you can have 
1, 4, 4 and 1 which is 10 ticks of delay. Now the stone button outputs 10 ticks of signal. So if you delay 10 ticks of signal by 10 ticks of delay, what do you get? Well, you've just delayed the signal out of existence. This can shorten the pulse length to zero. And of course, if it's got four ticks of delay, one, 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 and one, then it's six ticks of signal. But you can have anything in between as well, just by going through like this and uh, adjusting however much you want. So with this setting, you can actually have a one tick signal length, which is nine ticks of pulse shortening. So as you can see, that is extremely fast, and in fact so fast that the uh, redstone lamps can't even update as quickly as the repeaters update. But if we switch it back on to 10, then as I said earlier, the stone buttons and wooden buttons act slightly differently. The wooden buttons have 15 redstone ticks of output, whereas the stone buttons only have 10. So what this means is uh, you can do something a little bit interesting using different kinds of buttons. So obviously that, because there's 10 ticks of delay and 10 ticks of input, there are 0 ticks of output. But when you've got 10 ticks of delay and here's the secret button on the back, 15 ticks of input, you've got 5 ticks of output. So as you can see, the stone button doesn't do anything, but the wooden button actually works. So if you had, I don't know, an adventure map where the player is carrying two different kinds of buttons but you only want them to be able to use the wooden button for something, then you can force them to do that by actually having the stone button not work just by using this pulse shortener and of course for any of your other pulse shortening needs. So that is the design. <laughs> My name's been Astro Gamer Steve, you've been watching this video and I'll see you next time.